My name is Patrick, and uh, I was in the Army. I'm retired. I served almost 28 years. I moved up um, from combat medic to nurse, and uh, I learned to be a surgeon. In uh, 2006, I ended up in uh, Afghanistan. We were rocketed a lot. <laughs> I got attacked at, like every night. Um, messes with your head um, to be um, bombed and shelled every night. You don't get a lot of sleep. But then the, for the final six months, I was with the Special Forces team. The things that I saw there, the, the, uh, the casualties and the, and, the, and, the, and the deaths. Sometimes you're treating the enemy. I mean, we had Taliban blindfolded and, and, and handcuffed, but we treated their wounds just like we treated the guy who's right next to him, the Special Forces guy who we tried to kill. Um, so that's kind of tough. You know, that messes with you. Like, should I give this guy the same care? And, so I have that, as well as just the blood and the, and the gore of, of everything. Sticking your hands in people, you know, trying to save their lives and hold them together and whatnot. But it doesn't affect you right then and there, you know? You're doing what you need to do. You, you're trained, you, 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 you're making the mission happen. You're saving lives. It didn't really hit me until like after the deployment when I came home. If I hear the news and I hear of another soldier being killed, I sat in the dark and I drank and your brain has nothing else to do but remember it. And I was mad, I was angry, I, I was mad at the government, mad at the army, mad at the world, yelling and crying and, and then I got the phone call, I'm from the Department of the Army, I'm calling about your son. Fortunately, he's okay, you know, he's shot in the leg, but it's still, obviously, you can see how it affects me. And, and yeah, I just realized that I, I just, I couldn't do it on my own. This medical professional, you know, old, older guy, you know, I was in my 40s. It's not, not like I was gonna fix it, I couldn't. I need help. I went to the VA and I, I did some group therapy. It's funny because I sat in the in the groups and I'm like, wow, you guys had it so much harder in Vietnam. And, and they're like, oh, you guys had it so much harder now. And I'm like, well, I guess it's all your perspective. So yeah, it's just, it's good to have that support. Um, people who have been through it, everybody has their own experiences and their reactions. And, and so it's good that the group was able to, to talk about different a aspects of the trauma that they experience and uh, and how they cope with it. It was good. It was it was worth it. I wish I would have done it sooner. I, why why did I sit there in the dark, drinking, being angry, when there was somebody there that could have helped me? I'm so much better now. You know, I don't I don't I'm just I'm like a different person. I mean, my my concentration is is better. My temper is better. Um, I don't have as many, again, flashbacks, if you will, nightmares. Um, my life has just gotten so much more livable. I'm so much happier than I was in that place, uh, night and day. <laughs> Go to the VA, talk to the mental health professionals because they definitely will help you. You don't have to isolate yourself because there are other people who are happy to help. You've earned it, you served, so go and get your care. Make new friends and, uh, and find a new life.